an examination of Ulysses S. Grant's two terms as President of the United States 1869-1877 reveals many scandals and fraudulent activities associated with persons within his administration, including his cabinet, that was in continual transition, divided by the forces of political corruption and reform. Grant, ever trusting of associates, was himself influenced by both forces. The standards in many of his appointments were low, and charges of corruption were widespread one starting with the Black Friday 1869 Guild speculation ring, corruption would be discovered in seven federal departments, including the Navy, Justice, War, Treasury, Interior, State, and the Post Office. Reform movements initiated in both the Democratic Party and the Liberal Republicans, a faction that split from Republican Party, to oppose political patronage and corruption in the Grant administration. Nepotism was prevalent, with over 40 family members benefiting from government appointments and employment. The prevalent corruption was eventually called Grantism. The unprecedented way that Grant ran his cabinet, in a military style rather than civilian, contributed to the scandals. For example, in 1869, Grant's private secretary Orville Babcock, rather than a State Department official, was sent to negotiate a treaty annexation with Santo Domingo. Grant never even consulted with cabinet members on the treaty annexation, in effect, the annexation proposal was already decided. A perplexed Secretary of Interior Jacob D. Cox reflected the Cabinet's disappointment over not being consulted but Mr. President, has it been settled, then, that we want to annex Santo Domingo? Another instance of Grant's military-style command arose over the McGarrahan claims, a legal dispute over mining patents in California, when Grant overrode the official opinion of Attorney General Ebenezer Rahor to both Cox and Hoare who were reformers, eventually resigned from the cabinet in 1870. Grant's reactions to the scandals ranged from prosecuting the perpetrators to protecting or pardoning those who were accused and convicted of the crimes. For example, when the Whiskey Ring scandal broke out in 1875, Grant, in a reforming mood, wrote Let No Guilty Man Escape. However, when it was found out that Babcock was indicted, Grant testified on behalf of the defendant. During his second term Grant appointed reformers such as Benjamin Bristow, Edwards P. Repent, and the Cherry A. Chandler who cleaned their respective departments of corruption. Grant dismissed Babcock from the White House in 1876, who was linked to several corruption charges and scandals. It was with the encouragement of these reformers that Grant established the first Civil Service Commission, 